All right, this video is about how I went about changing my C5 Corvette from automatic to a six-speed manual. Um, there's not a lot of videos on here just telling you what to actually do and what you need and how much it actually costs and all that kind of good stuff. So I'm gonna go through it. I got my little script here and all the parts that I had to buy and what I had to do to make this whole process work. Um, my car is the 2004 Chevrolet Corvette C5. Uh, Bought it as an automatic, um, bought it for drifting, so automatic's not gonna really, you know, cut it for me. So I wanna make it a six speed. I got a really good deal on the car, so uh, I could afford to do this whole swap, you know. Um, see, uh, things I needed um, that you'll need to do this whole swap is to, uh, you'll need to throw out bearing, you'll need your clutch, you'll need your flywheel, pressure plate, slave cylinder, that's all the clutch stuff, the little, you know, all the clutch stuff's in the bell housing area. Um, I already had all that stuff from my old car because I changed out my, uh, my Z06 clutch to a, a C6 Z06 clutch, so LS7 clutch basically, and uh, um, I really didn't have to do it though because there was still a lot of meat left on the clutch so I saved it all and uh, thank God I did because I actually needed it for this car so um, save some money there. Um, other things you'll need, you're going to need your bell housing for the manual, uh, torque tube, transmission obviously, differential because your differential from the automatic to manual are different, they won't work so you'll need the manual one. Um, You'll need the tranny tunnel wiring harness, which is, you can go on eBay and find them. They're cheap, they're not that much. I went on eBay and found one. Um, you need your shifter, obviously. Um, mine all came with the shifter and stuff, so, I mean, you might have to buy it, you might not. It depends on where you get it. Um, other than that, I needed a, all you need is a clutch pedal. You don't need the whole assembly, you just need the pedal. Underneath, uh, it already has the holes there, so all you have to do is put the pedal in, put the bolts in, and you're good to go. You got the pedal. Um, what else? You need the clutch master cylinder. Uh, with the master cylinder, the automatics, you don't have the hole there in the firewall, so you will have to drill out a hole, or cut out a hole or whatever, to make that fit and work. Because uh, the automatics, for some reason, they just don't have the hole there. So you will have to cut a hole in your firewall to stick it through there and make it work. Um, it's not that hard. I did it myself. Um, I think that's it for the parts that you need. Um, what else? Uh, after you get it all assembled, which is, is fairly easy, I mean, you, you drop the whole rear end with the, the differential the transmission, the torque tube, bell housing, all at once. It all comes down with the cradle. Get all that out of there, get your whole setup, slide it right back in there, bolt it on. I mean, it's relatively easy. I mean, it's not that bad at all. Um, once you get everything mocked up and put in there, uh, and if you, you, you'll notice that you have to, when you go to start the car, it's not gonna start. Um, uh, what I figured out is that you have to actually reprogram the computer, you know, take it to a shop or someone you know or whatever and have them reprogram the computer. And you need to bypass the uh, clutch switch and neutral safety switch. Uh, the automatics, there's no wire that comes down from the in-dash harness. There's like two wires that come down and are supposed to go into the clutch switch. They're not there, so you just have to bypass it. Um, uh, when you bypass it, obviously you need to watch out starting it in gear and all that kind of good stuff without the pedal in. I mean, I don't know who doesn't put the pedal in anyways and start it and make sure it's a neutral. I always did. Um, so just be wary about that. Um, clutch switch and the uh, neutral safety switch, both of those need to be bypassed. So those switches bypass, reprogram the computer, and the car will start and run and go. Um, another thing. Uh, You'll have the, uh, when you take the automatic transmission out, you'll still have the, the cooling tubes for the fluid that go up. You can remove those 
take those right off. I cut them out and took them off of the, the radiator and you could just plug those holes. Um, you won't need it anymore because the, the six speed, you have to just manually fill it in there and it just, you know, it takes the fluid from, from beneath and brings it up. You know, it doesn't actually circulate through a whole system through the radiator to cool it down. So you won't need any of that. Um, uh, that's about it with all that. Um, I'll take you on a tour on the car and you can see everything that I've done. Uh, let's see what it costs me to do the swap. Um, let's see, like I said, I already got the, uh, I had to buy the throw out bearing. I already had the clutch, flywheel, pressure plate. Um, I went on Craigslist and I found a guy selling basically everything from the bell housing back with cradle, axles, you name it. Um, the, the Z06 brake calipers, everything, the arms. I even got the front set up too with cradle, arms, and all that kind of good stuff for 1200 bucks. So I got a whole Z06 set up for 1200 uh, which is a pretty freaking good deal. Um, so there's deals out there. Um, but I suggest if you guys uh, end up buying an automatic because it's a lot cheaper and you want to do the swap, uh, I did suggest going the same route, looking on Craigslist, uh, seeing if somebody's parting it out or has the whole setup, something like that, because that's what I did. I might have just gotten lucky, I don't know, but... Um, another suggestion would be to go to like a Copart, uh, go find a, a wrecked one, you know, one that's told, um, it's got the whole setup underneath it. Uh, you could probably get it for super, super cheap. Get the whole car, take everything out that you need, and, uh, scrap the rest, you know, or maybe sell a bunch of the parts that are on it, you know, make some money back. Um. So there's a lot of ways out there you can go about it. It's not, you don't have to make it expensive. You don't have to just go and buy every single part, you know, from eBay or wherever, you know, because that, that'll probably get pretty expensive doing it that route. I mean, I guess it just depends on how much you get the, your automatic car for because you can always take the automatic stuff and sell it. There's probably somebody looking for, you know, automatic, tranny, all that kind of good stuff. So... You can sell all your stuff that way, make money back. Um, so yeah, the the parts wasn't that bad. I mean, all I had to buy was throw out bearing, the slave cylinder, the uh, tranny tunnel harness, the uh, clutch pedal, and the clutch master cylinder. Those are the only things I had to go on eBay and actually buy. Um, I don't think there's anything else. I can't think of anything else. But those are the only parts I had to buy. I had everything else. Uh, so, I mean, it probably only cost me, I don't know, maybe less than 2000 I guess, to do the whole swap, I would say. But that's just me. I mean, it all depends on how you go about doing the swap, where you get the parts from, how much they are, you know. So... But this, this is just to tell you that it doesn't have to be expensive. A lot of people say, you know, you might as well just sell your car and just go buy a 6P. It's a lot cheaper. It's like, that's not the case. I mean, I did it. I got um, my cars for super cheap. I bought two Corvettes, basically, uh, for super cheap um, and was able to swap out a whole automatic setup, you know, for under 2000 which is pretty freaking good. And I still have another Corvette, all the whole setup, you know, from the automatic, I could sell all that kind of stuff. I haven't even done it yet, but I can to make money back. So uh, people telling you that it's not worth it, don't listen to them. It's all on how you find the parts and, uh, you know, how much you pay for them. It's just, you know, there's deals out there. You just got to look. Here's the drift beast. Little Franken vet. Here's the whole automatic setup right here. All underneath here. Now 
torque tube, tranny, everything. Everything's right here. I just took it all off. Um, so this used to be an automatic. It is now a six speed. Boom. Pedals in there, everything. When you get the master cylinder, all I did was drill two holes right here, put some rib nuts in, attached it right there. I don't know if you can see, but I cut the hole through there, put it in there and attached it, bled it, works great. Um, other than that, everything is in. It works, it drives. Uh, so I was pretty happy with the whole swap. It took me a while to figure out that I needed to uh, reprogram the computer and whatnot. You can't just go and start jumping wires and stuff like that. It just, it doesn't work. Uh, I got it to start for a second when I had found a wire that I jumped, but it wouldn't stay running. Um, I even switched out the computer, the ECU, to a Z06, you know, six speed, and it uh, it still didn't work anything like that. So you have to, you actually have to reprogram the whole computer to so it computes with all the other computers that are in the car because it's a pretty smart car. I mean, it knows when you're messing around with it. So yeah, that's about it. Um, that's it for the video. Like, subscribe. Please get me going on this, and uh, once this car is done, you'll be seeing it drifting. Uh, it's gonna be a sweet freaking ride. Can't wait till I get to the track. So that's it. Thanks.